Hey y'all, Amar here. <laughs> so today I'm gonna explain to stop laughing. I almost had Hey y'all, Amar here. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys a full walkthrough of this 25 foot E350 Ford uh, Cruise America RV. We're gonna be telling you all about the pros, the cons, the ins, the outs, and then at the end, gonna give you some tips and most importantly, to let you know is it worth it. Big vehicle, like I was saying, is 25 feet long, has a V8 engine, also holds about 55 gallons of gasoline. Whenever you fill the tank all the way up, that would get you at least 560 miles. So it goes quite a while without having to go back to the gas uh, go back to the gas station. Uh, also on board, it has a, a, a water tank that has uh, 45 gallons of water in it. Um, as well, it will have a propane tank in it that has about 12 gallons of propane. Uh, that water tank's going to last you, did us about two to three days. Propane went quite a while. We were able to make it a whole week without ever getting propane. Um, so very neat there. Uh, also is a 30 amp power in the back. So I'll be showing you guys that and plenty of external storage. So let's get started. All right, so continuing on to the back, you'll see here is the first opening for your garage or outside storage. Uh, it's pretty easy to open. It's just these couple levers here. You turn them both up so that they're pointing up. Uh, you can lock this. We were told that it's a pretty easy lock, though, for people to bust open or to have a key to open it themselves. So don't put anything too vulnerable, of course, underneath here. Uh, but once you open it up, has an easy latch to hold it in up there on both sides so that way you don't have to be sitting here holding it up. Once you go ahead and open it up, as you can see, it's a pretty large space. Right now we have a lot of our stuff in here because we're going to be returning this in just a few hours and we're moving everything in and packed up. Okay, now we've taken some stuff out so you can see a little bit better into the area. But as you can see, again, pretty large space. Uh, it does come with a couple of things in here that we wanted to show you. One is going to be that it comes with the table. Uh, this table, again, as you can see, is maybe about five feet, four feet long. One thing that we did notice about it is it sits a little bit short. It's a pretty short table, probably only comes up to my hips or so. Um, not a big deal, but a little bit shorter. Here, once you pop this guy up, there is your uh, water hose to connect to city water or fill up your water tank. And then next, you can see inside of it, it has a uh, power outlet as well as an on-off switch for a light. This light here, and then there's another light on the other side. Okay, so continuing into the back of the vehicle, you'll see here there's another entrance panel to the external storage. You can enter again here. Again, same lever system. This one, though, is locked. I forgot to bring the key, so we won't be opening it up. This here is one um, for the 2023 model. I've been seeing that it seems like it's a newer system. Uh, what it does, again, is as you back up, it will beep uh, louder and louder as it picks up an object. So kind of neat to be able to have this whenever you're backing up this big old RV with no window in the back, of course. On the other side of the vehicle, of course, you have your gas tank. Uh, down here, you have your sewage connection. We'll go ahead and open that up for you. You see here in your sewage connection, same thing as most RVs and trailers. You have your black water, you have your gray water, and of course, your uh, nozzle or hose to connect. Uh, down here is where it comes out. You connect the, the nozzle into here, and then it all comes out, of course. Uh, you always want to start with your black water first and then have your gray water come out as a wash. Uh, but this was a really easy system for us, uh, especially being first time RV renters. Uh, we had never experienced how to use this and it was very easy. All right. Next thing to show here is going to be your shore power. Again, this is a 30 amp sure power. You go ahead and plug this bad boy in to an outlet and that is going to power your refrigerator, your microwave, your air conditioner, all of that good stuff uh, pretty easily. Uh, but that's your sure power right there. 
Next thing here is going to be your uh, opening for your generator. Uh, we never had to open it up down here. There's a way to turn it on on the inside here that I can also show you in just a minute. But let me show you what it looks like. Here's that generator. Uh, very, you know, useful. Uh, runs the, the heat, um, microwave, and countless other things. So here it is. Last thing before we move on into the vehicle, taking a look down at the bottom, you will notice in the back that it is a dually. Uh, it gives a little bit of a smoother ride uh, in our experience there. So now let's go ahead and step on in. You'll notice that all of the windows have a screen on them. Extremely nice. Uh, that's been a lifesaver for us, especially when we went up to the Pacific Northwest in Oregon with all of the mosquitoes. Uh, so let's continue in. Okay, now that we're inside of the RV, we'll go ahead and start off the inside vehicle tour with the chassis. The chassis is going to be the front part of the vehicle that's more, you know, like your traditional van than opposed to the RV. Uh, right now, you can see we have our little adventure kitty Mojave holding down the captain's seat area, but I'll take a seat here. Uh, this vehicle does have cruise control. Uh, the captain's chair is very comfortable, comes with an armrest, you know, very spacious up here. Uh, air conditioner, all of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. One thing about the 2023 model that is neat and we weren't expecting is it does have Bluetooth. Uh, we were told before that you might have to get an aux cord, so it's nice that it does have Bluetooth. Another neat thing is that it comes with the new USB uh, connection for a lot of the new fancy phones. Uh, so you do have that uh, option as well. Uh, plenty of storage, plenty of cup holders, uh, but again, nothing too fancy here. Right above the chassis driving area, you'll have the first uh, guest bed area that we'll tell you guys about. So this sleeping area is the larger out of the two um, guest sleeping areas. This one could fit a uh, you know full size adult man for sure. Uh, I I laid up here and you know was able to stretch out fully with no problems. Uh, all you have to do is pull that mattress here. Oh, put it down like this, and voila, you have the bed. Next, you'll have a nice little chair or bench right behind the passenger seat. Uh, this bench here, of course, has a seat belt just like the other area, sitting area we'll show you in just a moment. Uh, underneath as well, it does have another little storage area. Uh, for us, that was where our adventure cat Mojave spent a lot of her time during the day when we were driving. Um, if you continue to look at the vehicle, You'll notice on both sides, all throughout it, it has plenty of storage. Um, we use most of this storage space, but still, we didn't, you know, even fill it to the brim. Uh, currently, it's pretty empty just because, like I was saying, we're cleaning out and getting ready to return the vehicle, but lots of storage space. Continuing to work our way back in the vehicle, you have the dining slash second guest area. Uh, this one's a little bit smaller of a bed, as you can see. I uh, wouldn't suggest a full-size adult sleeping here, but definitely some kiddos would be fine. For us, uh, this is where our, our, um, our bosses were the whole time. We had base bed right here, and of course Mojave's teepee. Uh, this is where they were yelling out commands from what we should do on the trip. Uh, but very, very nice area, very nice, you know, um, sleeping area. Uh, we'll go ahead and convert this into a table just to show you how easy it's done, but only takes a few moments to do. Start going to be showing you guys the control panel. Uh, this is probably the most important part on the inside of the actual RV portion. Uh, this panel is going to show you everything you need to know about how to run the RV or how things are going internally. Uh, the first button is going to be your battery. So that's the battery for running the lights, you know, um, your pump, uh, things that are inside of the RV self. Next is going to be your fresh water. That's going to be your water for your sink, your toilet. Um, you know, things like that. Next is going to be black water. That's your bathroom water. 
Next is going to be gray water. That's the water from uh, doing dishes, uh, brushing teeth, things like that. And then lastly, you have your LNG. So that's going to be your propane or LPG. Right here, you have your water pump. Of course, you turn that on and off to get water into the vehicle itself. Here you have your generator hours. That clocks how many hours it's run. Uh, your solar. We never had any solar, of course. Uh, here is your generator. That's the same generator that I was telling you guys about earlier in the tour. That generator, you can turn it on outside or like we did a lot easier. We turned it on from in here. How to do that is you hold down this button till that light turns red. And then you hold down a few more seconds and then you go ahead and press start and now fire up your generator once your generator has been turned on of course now you can use your microwave your air conditioner unit your heating unit all of those can all be ran by the generator now this generator does run on the same gasoline that you know moves the vehicle so when that gas gauge gets below 25 percent this generator will not run any longer last thing on this control panel is the water heater all you have to do is flip that switch on and off and of course that's going to heat up your water that you have stored here in the vehicle uh, giving you hot water for showers and uh, you know if you want to drink next part of the vehicle is going to be the kitchen area uh, the kitchen area is a lot bigger than what we anticipated. It comes with a three burner stove. Uh, the stove does run on the propane, but like we were saying, even with the stove running on propane, the refrigerator, we used it a lot on propane. Uh, the water heater, we used a lot of propane for taking showers. Still, with all of that, we only had to fill up the propane one time in our two weeks. So turning on the stove can be a little bit tricky. I just learned the full extent, but you turn it this way. Once you line it up with the fire, you click it on, and now you have heat. I mean, and then it's there it goes. <laughs> right below the microwave, you have your vent. Uh, this, of course, is for, you know, fan for whenever you're cooking, basically, on, off, low, things like that. Nothing too fancy. On the opposite side of the kitchen, you have your refrigerator and freezer. A pretty big unit. Take a look inside. We have it turned off right now just because we cleaned it out and we're going to be returning the vehicle, but you'll see plenty of space. Uh, we were able to fill this guy up and it would last us about three to four days before we would have to run back and get more food. Uh, so plenty of space inside of the refrigerator, plenty of storage containers. Um, even if you have a drink or something in here, we didn't ever have to worry about things falling out. So very nice. Next, you have your freezer, not a, the biggest freezer, but enough space to fit, you know, frozen chicken, burgers, things like that, and some ice cream. Moving back to the end of the vehicle, you have your bedroom area. There is a curtain that goes out and will come the full extent here. Uh, this curtain, you know, blocks off what is the kitchen and the rest of the vehicle with the bedroom. Um, here is the bed itself. The bed was extremely comfortable. We never had any problems with the bed itself. Very comfortable. Uh, one thing about the bed is that it does come with this plastic type material. So make sure that you bring a fitted sheet. Uh, otherwise, you'll be stuck to it all night and sweating and things like that. Okay, we definitely had that experience a couple of nights. Have your bathroom area. This bathroom area just has a small sink, vanity mirror, uh, open it up, has the normal storage area for your bathroom amenities. Uh, also in this area, I'll go ahead and move out of the way so Tracy can show you. You also have your heating, your heating uh, unit. Uh, all you have to do, of course, is turn this on by moving the lever over. Uh, the higher you move it over, the warmer it's going to be. But that's how you turn that on. You also have right here a, another power outlet. Into the bathroom we go. So into the bathroom, you'll see that it has a full shower. It is a little bit shorter. I'll step in there in a second and show you guys what it looks like. But you do have a full shower, and then you also have a full toilet.
inside of the shower you'll see it's you know pretty spacious but for myself as a six foot person uh, it can be a little bit small when you're scrub a dub a dubbing but better to have a shower than not to have a shower right and this neat thing about this is that it is not a you know combination bathroom they are separate you have its own shower and you have its own toilet very enjoyable up above you'll see uh, there are plenty of lights throughout the entire vehicle to illuminate whenever you want to turn those on. Uh, it also has an air conditioner unit. The air conditioner unit we've only had to turn on a couple of times, but when we needed it, it was a lifesaver. Uh, very cool and cools off the entire unit very easily. You do have to be plugged into shore power or have the generator running to turn on this unit. Uh, but again, very easy. You just turn it to cool, make sure it's on, and boom, blows it out. The next thing back I want to show you guys on the roof is going to be the vents. Uh, you'll have three of these vents throughout the RV just to bring in some you know, fresh air as you're driving down the highway. It also has plenty of windows, as you can see, throughout the unit. The one thing that we will say about these windows, we really enjoy the, the windows, but the blinds themselves aren't necessarily the best. Um, whenever you're driving down the road or if it's windy when you're sitting there, you'll notice that these guys will start creeping forward. Uh, next thing you know, it, they're pretty much closed. Uh, so that's really the only con that we have about them, but they are actually very good at blocking out the sun. So was it worth it? Uh, we would say yes. Overwhelmingly <laughs> yes. Uh, we really enjoyed our two weeks in the Cruise America. We really enjoyed the platform. Uh, like Tracy was saying, we never had any hiccups. They do have a 1-800 number that you can call in case you do have any problems. It's 24-7. 24-7 um, yeah. hotline. If you've never stayed in an RV, which that's us, we've never stayed in one, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, we got a feel for the RV life. Um, we weren't quite sure how we would like it. Turns out we'd love it. <laughs> um, if you've stayed in one before or if you plan on renting it multiple times, then it may be something that you might want to consider purchasing your own because it does add up over time. Definitely. We would recommend doing it probably three times or so max and then it starts getting into the range of thinking about maybe just putting a down payment on your own RV. Uh, but definitely worth it, you know, very good experience and we highly recommend it. Uh, the only cons that we can even think of for the whole time is the blinds like we were saying. Uh, Leveling out the RV, which that's that's user error. We just didn't know that you're supposed to get little blocks to level it out. So sometimes it's a little hard walking around and stuff. Yeah. Now, wanting to find uh, the level spot always for the mainly the refrigerator is what it seems. Mm -hmm. One night we were slightly tilted and we woke up and most of our goods in the freezer and fr refrigerator had, uh, you know, gotten warm because the fridge was only going to work on level surface. Uh, so that was a user error, but a con, I guess, from where we come from as traditional tent campers. Uh, so compare this guy to a tent. And it's uncomparable. Uncomparable. Uh, so, <laughs> so comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable, very easy living. And we were still able to do a lot of the dispersed camping that we like to do. Um, so if you want to see our two-week adventure in the RV uh, with Bailey in our adventure kitty mojave mojave uh tune in to our channel we have a whole series of our times exploring and cruising the, america mm -hmm. in this vehicle thank you all for watching if you're interested in seeing our adventure type videos please check out our channel and subscribe